Nicola Mestrioli will round out the defensemen or the midfielders in the middle up front. It'll be Tristan Jenkins who leads the Monarchs in scoring. Inside him will be Michael Everly. Aaron Deans also will be in the backfield on defense for Old Dominion. Game Cox win the toss. They will get the ball. We are just about ready to go in crucial points at stake here in the Sun Belt. Here's Logan Frost on the near side. He will drop it straight back. He play some defense and play kind of conservative. One and 1.33 goals per game for the Gamecocks. Here's a look at the uh, lineup. Ben Alexander, another freshman in goal. Both freshman goalies tonight. Will Crane will be on defense along with the junior St. Juiced. Beside him is William Nilsson. The midfield will be Ethan Deckel Dax as we get some action going forward. Monarchs trying to get something going. That one is tipped and deflected over top of the goal harmlessly, but a dangerous quick run for the Monarchs. They get things going early. Big difference in corners for Old Dominion as far as surrendered and taken on the season so far. Monarchs have taken 47 corners, have given up 71. Let's see if they can put one in the net here. Knocked down pretty easily, pretty quickly by League, but not done yet. Into the box and tipped just over the bar. The attempt by Christensen. So Old Dominion, not necessarily a high scoring offensive powerhouse. A lot of defense going right at it. Two good opportunities to start this thing off. There is St. Juice. Leaves it across for his defenseman. Defense mate is Nilsson. A little pressure going to be put on by Old Dominion now. Sub Cup is Mandir. Through the middle. Ruletti had it, lost it. And now it's picked up there. Ball ahead. Too far out in front for Logan Frost, and it's picked up by Statham. Statham, as we said, 46 saves on the season. Four shutouts for Statham. Nathan will play it back himself now. Looking to go forward. A little pressure getting put on here. You got to watch out for that guy. That's Adam Luckhurst. Leads all everything offensive category for the Gamecocks. And he's putting pressure on. Through the midfield, Old Dominion was able to regain possession. And again, it'll be played back to Statham. Monarchs tied for third. In the Sun Belt, they've got seven points. Two points back are the Gamecocks with five. Currently in six, Old Dominion is looking to possibly host a tournament game. they got some work to be done before then, but they do have a shot. Gamecocks trying to get some crucial points here late in the season. Up ahead, that one intended for Jenkins a little too far. Alexander will take it himself. Wait, Juice in the middle. Here is Perez. Played up ahead to Frost. Frost left it in for Perez again. Perez on the run on the right side. Got Frost beside him. Is he going to use it? Perez, crosser, into the box. It's knocked loose and cleared. And a great opportunity right off the bat for South Carolina. Just not able to connect. Frost looking for Adam Luckhurst. And Luckhurst got a piece of it, but not enough. Meanwhile, here's Old Dominion. Through ball on the money. Pass across. Here's a shot. It is wide. Yeah. 
and across, in. Old Dominion strikes first. It's Christensen who puts it through. Check it, not Christensen, check that, that's Beckett. Lewis Beckett who got the goal. Beckett who picked up an assist on both goals against Marshall. The Monarchs put up, picks up a goal here tonight. Thought it was going to be a shot by Mandir. Mandir took it down and had a, had a good look himself, but saw that he had Beckett on the other side with nobody on him. Monarchs working the ball precisely through the midfield and able to score first. Here is Frost now, and he's double teamed, so he's going to drop it back. St. Juice has it now. Early goal for Old Dominion. That's this squad of a lot of newcomers. For, North, for South Carolina, here's a good through ball. Just too far, though. Looking for Deckel Dax. Just a bit, just a hair too far. 17 newcomers to this Gamecock squad, including 12 freshmen and five transfers. They have 10 returners from the squad last year. Statham will play it up. A lot of pressure coming on. That's Luckhurst again. Mawpaw. Frost puts pressure on him and he'll drop it back again. Reeser. And once again, back to state. The Monarchs not afraid to play it back. Be patient. We saw they had some passing ability to get it through small spaces. Reeser could not control that one, though. Frost will throw it in. Into the middle. Deckle Dax, and we've got a whistle. Dax is down. This. Well, let's see. Our officials tonight, referee JT Lukens, Aaron Hormuth, Nick Furnish, and Stephen Honecker will be the fourth official and the assistants, or Furnish and Hormuth. So this is going to be a free kick just outside the box. As the Lukens rewards the Gamecocks and Deckel Dax. Let's see who's going to take this. Deckel Dax is there. Here's the shot right at Statham, and no problem. Not really much of a challenge. Barely had to move. Not a penalty kick. Neither of these teams has had a penalty kick all season long, by the way. Zero for zero on both sides. About as close as you could get without being inside the box, though. But no harm for the Old Dominion as Statham comes up big and had one hit right at his head. St. Juice. Near side, Nelson. Drew Letty is also one of the bigger scorers on this squad. Two goals and assist. He's got five points. Two game winners from a midfielder. That's far side for Kane as Kane tries to get something moving ahead. There's Drew Letty and he drops it off. Back it comes, Nelson. Nielsen into the middle, looking for help. Looking for Luckhurst. Luckhurst had it, lost it. Frost picked it up. Far side. Crosser knocked down by Dean. Frost back across. Here's Bruletti. Perez on the right side. Frost on a wing. Into the middle. Bruletti will reset. He'll drop it back to Kane. Everybody forward now. There's Frost chipping it in and knocked down and cleared by Old Dominion. 
lot of black shirts going forward for South Carolina. Kane, far side, almost gave it up. Now it does give it up. Monarchs have it. That's inside. They will drop it back again. Maupaw, near side now. Mr. Rioli will play it straight back to Statham, and they'll reset. Back to the right side now. Long ball ahead. Too far. I think he's looking for Jenkins, and that one had too much on it. Kane Cox coming back the other way with Nelson back to St. Juice. Monarchs goal scored early on right in front of the 40 minute mark. Tally was put up by Lewis Beckett, the midfielder. Again, Statham will take it off one of his own friendly feet. And they reset 16th meeting between these two. Old Dominion leads the series 9 5 and 1. Monarchs won last year's contest in Columbia, a three to two victory. Loose in the midfield, they will control St. Juice. Plays it to the left side. Crane has it there, back to St. Juice now. A lot of possession time here in the last few minutes for the Gamecocks, trying to press forward to find something. Nilsson found nothing, so he goes back to Crane. Crane pushes forward. Becca Dax, he'll play it back. Nilsson has Frost on his right, goes right through the middle, into the middle, looking for some help, and he's going to find Luckhurst. Luckhurst had it, lost it, gets it to Perez. Perez, nice spin move there to keep possession. Oh, dangerous pass there, miscommunication, and it's going to get away from him. Nilsson not quite on the same page, but doesn't kill them. They keep possession, though. Still deep in the Monarchs' territory. Into the box, there's Negadax. Now back out of the box. Good defense there by Dean, squeezing him back the other direction. Popped up, and that's going to be cleared by Christensen. Crane is going to keep it in play and keep possession. They reset and they'll go back to St. Juice again. Juiced near side. Here's Nelson. Crane into the middle. Ethan Degadax trying to find some space. Can't find it either. Go far side trying to get it to Frost and he eventually does get it. Looking to go one on one, one on two, still going, had it off the foot. Mapa has it now and will not quite clear. Frost not done yet, still with it. A lot of traffic in the corner, a lot of footwork. Nothing came of it though, good job by the Old Dominion defenders. It's Frost, had it for a long time, dribbling through the phone booth, couldn't find any room though. Monarchs have some space here. Long ball coming ahead. Schmalbach. Schmalbach still has it. He's going to go right side. Popped up far post. Schmalbach ain't unable to get to it. Jenkins unable to get to it. South Carolina does. It's nobody up really ahead for Perez. So he turned over for Old Dominion. Defense trying to set something up. Coming across to the near side. Here's Reeser. Looking for space. He's got Maupaw on the left. Defense pressed way up. Crosser into the middle. Nobody home. Looking for Everly. Far side now. Picked up by Parker Logan. Parker Lee. Check that.
Here's Perez. We hit the 31 minute mark here in half number one in Norfolk, Virginia. Temperature in the uh, lower 50s, probably going to reach into the upper 40s before we're done. Wind is not really a factor, negligible. Brouletti will play it back. Once again, here is Milton. Here's Frost now. Frost to Perez. Perez had it. Perez got it taken away from him. Beckett picked his pocket. Ball Paul back to Risa. And back to Statham. Monarchs again showing patience. Risa to Maupaw. Frost got a foot on it, but it's out of bounds. It'll be Monarch throwing. Maupaw's looking for somewhere to go with it. Goes deep, headed down. Knocked down, controlled by Schmalbach. Tries to go far side, but that's picked off. Taken away by League. League up ahead to Daka Dax. That's in the touch. It'll be a Carolina throwing. Brouletti. Back to St. Jude. Into the middle. A lot of traffic in there. Here's Perez with some space on the right side now. He's got Frost on the right. He's going to try to feed it through the middle. That didn't work out. Milson will reset it back to Perez. Perez on the right has Frost. Frost clears it past Maupaw, but right into the box, and Reeser will knock it down and clear it back out. Jenkins had it, could not control it. Knocked loose. Up ahead. Trying to squeeze one through there. Trying to get it to Eberly. Eberly's been quiet tonight. There's been a lot of defensive effort for Old Dominion and a lot of attack time for Carolina. But the uh, crooked number on the board belongs to Old Dominion. We have gone under 29 minutes here in half number one. Racer. Can't find any room to maneuver. Schmalbach tops it back down. Christensen. Beckett played it too far ahead, so St. Juice will take it from there. Near side, here's Nilsson. Once again, the Gamecocks in possession. Trying to solve the puzzle of this Monarch defense. They've gotten close a couple of times. Had plenty of time to think about it. They've had possession for most of this half so far. Nilsson, they're going to try the right side. St. Juice. Yep, they're going to rotate it back to the other side, and here's Crane. feeding it through, trying to get it to Luckhurst, but uh, no luck there. Miscommunication. 27 minutes left in the half. This will be a goal kick. Not a goal kick. Check that. Statham stopped it. The punt rolled all the way through. side a lot of pressure being put on by Perez here but they're able to clear it St. Juiced again deep in his own territory where they haven't been all that much Monarchs had a couple of quick thrusts into the zone one of which wound up in the back of the net 
That from the foot of Lewis Beckett, kind of on a break. So many guys forward, you're going to get that a couple of times. That one went too far through. Luckhurst let it go. He may have been thinking there was a flag up. The six foot four, 190 pound freshman, Michael Statham. He's only given up nine goals this season. Battle of the freshmen in net tonight. Two freshmen keepers. A little shoving out there, getting a little physical. Refs letting it go so far. Here's Frost right side. Frost trying to find a name we haven't called very much is Clement. Clement could not control that one. He's been in the midfield, but not much happening for him. It'll be a throw in for Mawpaw. somewhere to go with it comes right back to him and then he's gonna go out no st. Juice had it roulette came over st. Juice is not gonna give it up they respot where it went out across the line frost will put it back into play Two shots on goal for Old Dominion. One shot collected so far for the Gamecocks from South Carolina. They have owned the ball in this first half, though. Here's Perez. Frost on the right side. He's going to drop it back again, showing patience. Back to the center. There's Brouletti. He'll go across. Good move there from Decca Dax. Spin, still has possession. Still has possession, another spin. Now he finally loses it, but we've got a whistle. Let's see what's gonna go down here. It's gonna be a free kick. I think they're gonna get Mandir on that one. Second free kick upcoming for Wow, for uh, the you gotta get Jenkins out of the way to see who's gonna take that. Wide shot is knocked down right in front of the goal mouth, far post and cleared, but out into touch. Flag was up, doesn't matter anyway. So still, we've only got one shot on goal for the Gamecocks, and that came off a free kick. Wasn't much of a problem for Statham. It was aimed right at his head. Apparently had to move to make that stop. Dangerous ball forward. Doesn't get through to anybody in a white shirt anyway. Here's Perez. He's got Frost. He goes to Frost, but it's behind him and straight down. Rear bad pass for the Gamecocks tonight. They've been very good with their passing percentages, probably way up there. Long ball, home run shot here. He's looking for Everly. That didn't work. That seems to be the game plan here. All the Gamecocks pressing forward. Monarchs trying to break it, break out behind it if they get a chance. It's worked once. Big collision there, Luckhurst. You gonna get him? They are gonna get him. Is this gonna be a card? It is not a card. He's like Mantier. No card comes out. I guess the Stern talking to. Will be the free kick for the Gamecocks. It looks like Crane is the guy who's gonna set it up. Not too far away from where they were last time. It's not Crane, it's knocked into the box short, popped up in the air and will be still headed down. Perez has it, Perez 
Gets a shot, and it looked like it was going to go wide. Statham may have got a piece of it anyway. Let's see where this is going to go. It's going to be a corner. Becca Dax takes it to the corner. Beckle Dax to set it up. Sort of a disparity in corners as well, but only by 10 for the Gamecocks. They've taken 57, given up 67. Beckle Dax. Frost is in the box. St. Juice is in the box. A lot of black shirts into the box. Perez from outside the box. That's knocked down. And they got a whistle. And it'll be a free one for Old Dominion. Taken quickly in the far side. Not a lot of possession time for Old Dominion. It hadn't mattered. He ain't played back. Statham will take it. Here's Reeser. Had the mop paw. Frost came over to pick it off. Did pick it off. Kept it. And Perez lost it. It was a difficult one. Oh, wait a minute. Perez did not lose it. There's going to be a call there. Check that. I thought Perez may have coughed it up, but it's not. It's Beckett who's going to get the call. And it's going to be another free one for the Gamecock. And that one, that one might earn him a card. Let's see. That was not a wise move. It's a definite talking to. Frustration there from Jenkins, I think. He's just, well, he's bored. He hasn't had a whole lot to do. He's been back in his own end so long. He hasn't had a whole lot of chance to run forward and do what he loves to do as a forward. It's two stern conversations from our official to Monarchs, so they got to be careful. Three on one, and it's uh, not a problem there for Schmalbach. Still loose, back heel attempt, didn't go anywhere. Here's Perez. Perez, Nelson, Nelson, looking for help. Just gonna softly bounce and be easily taken by Statham. No. Couple of runners, Deckel Dax was in there. Nobody really close to it though. Pressure, there's Deckel Dax again, hanging around. It's Buzzing in front of the in front of the goal mouth. Reeser tried to go to Mapa, but he missed him, and it's going to go out of bounds and back into the hands of you guessed it. More possession time for the game cup. Long throw in, looking for Luckhurst. Luckhurst got ahead to it, but couldn't control it. And we've got a stoppage, possible injury. Let's see what's going on back here where that ball was kicked from. It's a collision back there. It's Mawpaw who was slow and moving around. Are they gonna make a sub for him? I think he's going to stay in. There is somebody up with a, a warm-up jersey. A couple of guys warming up down there, but no subs have been announced and nothing's coming in yet. So Malpoc still over on the sidelines. Perez is having a conversation now. JT Alukins. So the Monarchs will take it and will reset. Pressure put on by Luckhurst. Statham gets rid of it. Looking for Jenkins downtown. Can't get it to him. One on one now, though. Down goes St. Juiced, and the Monarchs will have it. St. Juiced recovers well and blocks that pass off. He's going to shield it along the baseline. It's going to go out, and it'll be Monarchs' ball. No, check it, Carolina ball. Good effort by St. Juice there. All 
under 20 minutes, down to 17 and a half, in fact, right now. Here's Perez trying to gain midfield again. St. Jude leaves it across to Crane. Violetti, not a great touch there. They're going to keep it anyways, though. They've gotten away with a lot of less than great passing. Well, some really good passing, a few less than great ones, but the Monarchs have not been able to take advantage of it, though. Statham sets up, bombs this one down towards midfield, looking for Jennings. Too strong for Jennings. Jenkins. The hip check there. Nelson. And then another collision afterwards. Jenkins got hit, maybe got an elbow. Wonder if he looked like he may have caught an elbow on the way he passed. As Nilsson is trying to get past it. Strong conversation, but nothing more than a free kick for Reeser. That's really, they'll drop it back. Statham. Again, pressure put on from Luckhurst. Racer back to Statham again. Statham has had more possession time in this game from his own, own team than he has probably any other time in this season so far. Long ball ahead. Finally some offense for Old Dominion. Maybe Mopaw has it now. Mondeer into the middle. Shot blocked. Knocked down by Kane. Off the foot of Schmalbach. Far side now. Sliding attempt as Kane keeps it. Train keeps it. Up ahead they go. And here is Luckhurst. A little bit of space for him, finally. He's been kind of bottled up himself by the tight quarters. They've had it inside the Old Dominion half for most of the half. Not a lot of space for anybody out there, but a lot of possession. Once again, Statham will take it off of a friendly foot. Driving ahead. Into the middle. Deckel Dax right in front. Deckel Dax looking. Deckel Dax lost it. Not a problem though. It's retrieved and held. Here's Perez again. Frost on the right side. Back to Perez. Perez looking for some space. Looking for some help. Brulletti with a little bit of a run. Not drawing too much. They try to move some defenders around. Perez and Frost tic-tac-toe back and forth. Here's Rouletti. Back into the middle. Clement, he'll drop it back. And they'll reset. So a lot of action, not a lot of shots. Nilsson. Rouletti now. And he'll drop it back again. Trying to break the form of this Old Dominion squad, which has held up pretty well. A lot of pressure, but there haven't been a whole lot of panicking going on. It's just sort of casual movement back and forth, and nobody getting out of shape yet. Cracks have not been located by the Gamecock. Jenkins trying to make a run. Nobody could get it to him, though. Played back. Alexander up to St. Juiced and we'll start it all over again. Perez on the right side. That's Frost in front of him. Gets it to him. Right back to Perez. Little give and go. Perez has a little bit of space. Goes across. Clement, far side. Into the middle again for Perez. And he'll drop it back. Drew Letty. Nilsson. Nilsson into the box. Clean shot, Deckel Dax off the post. Could not get it to go. Frost, that's deflected out by Mapa. It'll be a corner. Deckel Dax at point blank range, hit the inside of the post, and it came right back at him. 
pretty pass here by Nelson. Threading the needle, tackle Dax by himself, and did Statham get a piece of that? Statham may have got just a piece to knock it off of the framework. Corner coming, tackle Dax puts it in. Headed down, a lot of white shirts in there, no room to go. League has it, and will play it back into open space. Is Alexander. Back to pick it up. A couple of subs as LaMontagne comes in for Old Dominion. And 23, Harrison Myring comes in for the Gamecocks on the right side for Frost. Good stop there for the Monarchs defense, and then it'll slowly trickle its way back in. Played back out by Statham. Here is Myring. Quick touches for Myring in his first action. Knocked away, though. Back the other way. Here comes Old Dominion. Jenkins. Finally a little bit of space for Jenkins. It ran out quickly as Nelson came over to him, cut it off. It'll still belong to Old Dominion, though. Just over 10 minutes to go. The one goal on the board from Lewis Beckett. Monarchs with deep possession here. Here's a throw in. It's taken by LaMontagne. He's welcome to the game. Played back a little now, trying to get a little more space. Pressure put on them. Myring forcing him to drop back even further. All the way back to Statham. Reeser. Statham again. Look at the pressure. Far side, though. Move it up a little bit. Again, looking for the long ball ahead. St. Juiced is there. St. Juiced in a battle. And he will play it back to his keeper, who will knock it out. Alexander will give it up, but gain a lot of space and will let the defense reset. Sub coming in for Old Dominion. It'll be Liam Thomas. He will come in as he comes in for Jenkins, who will get a rest. Forward for forward switch there. Far side action. Now that one's tipped forward into the box. <laughs> Looking for Thomas right off of the bench. Could not connect though. Myring has a shove and a whistle. It's going to be Old Dominion is Myring. Took down our goal scorer as Beckett is back up easily enough. No problems injury wise. Beckett looks to Thomas. <coughs> LaMontagne swung it across. Into the middle, now back to Maupaw. Maupaw on Myring. Myring's been physical since he's come in. He's got some energy, fresh legs, and he's putting them to good use. Here's Beckett inside. Here's a chance. And out to smother it, Alexander jumped on top of it. Did not let, I think it's Eberly, did not let him get in on it. it was Eberly. He'll play it back to Alexander again. Six foot four freshman. From British Columbia. Canadian will get it back again. Just under eight minutes left in half number one. Ball is loose. I think that's Eberly who's got it. He's got help in the middle. Trying to get around Crane, and there's Beckett looking for his second of the night. Knocked down, though. 
Beckett, right place, right time, could not finish it. Maupaw's not done yet, though. Left side into the box, knocked down, battle there. It is wide of the post. Alexander got a piece of it. Don't know who got that laugh. Apparently it was not Anderson who got it last. Or Alexander who got it last. Yeah, it went off the foot of Everly, and Everly's gonna come out now as Eli Carr comes into the game for Everly. So Everly's last touch was a pretty good chance. Not able to slip it past. St. Juice up ahead for Red. Into the middle to tackle Tax, who had the best look of the night from anyone outside of Beckett, who put it in the net. Three shots on goal each now. Perez tries the middle, drops it back off. Bruletti keeps it under control. Two corners for the visitors from South Carolina to one corner for Old Dominion. Nilsson, Perez goes right back to him. Miscommunication there with Luckhurst. On deer, up ahead, kept in, not kept in. Carolina will start it up again. It's Brew Letty. And the whistle. And a kick for the game cup. Taken quickly by Brew Letty. St. Juice, they control it. Perez, back to St. Juice. Coming up on the five minute mark. Here's Myring getting past Mawpaw. Myring and Beckett now, and then it'll be out. It'll be a corner, or it's going to be a free kick. What is the call here? The flag was up. What is this call going to be? It's no real indication. I think it's going to be a corner. Or is it going to be a, it's going to be a, it's going to be a call just outside the box is what it's going to come out to be. They were about a yard away from the first penalty kick of the season for the Gamecocks, but instead it'll be just outside the box. Deckel Dax is there. Looks like he is going to be the man to take this. Monarchs have a two-man wall right in front of them. Lots of black shirts, lots of white shirts, lots of bodies in general. High chip knocked up in the air. Myring, I think, got ahead to it. Still loose, and now another whistle. And that's going to go to Old Dominion. Non deer. Playing some tough defense inside. A lot of chances for the Gamecocks here, but nothing on the board yet. Statham. Taking his time, looking for somewhere to go with this. He's going to send everybody downfield now. And loses this one. Up in the air. Trying to go to mind here. Instead, it's picked up by Thomas. Thomas left side on St. Juice. St. Juice will knock it out of play. It'll be the Monarchs' ball. It's a long throw in. Hitting the three minute mark now. Ball ball with the throw in. How far can he get it in? How far does he want to get it in? Not very. He lands, he takes it. Back to Ma Paul. Into the corner. Drops it back for Thomas. Thomas knocked that down. I think my ring got it. It's going to be a corner for Old Dominion, and Beckett is headed down that way to take it. This 
will be the corner number two for Old Dominion in this game. Beckett, the goal scorer, is going to put it up. In towards the box and taken down by Alexander. Snatched it out of the air without too much trouble. The outlet to Perez. Perez quickly across midfield. Transition in a hurry. He's winning the race with Thomas. Into the corner. Crosser is knocked down by Mafa, though. Straight up into the air. League had it go off of him. Controlled now by St. Jude. Under two minutes in the first half. Crane, long ball in, is headed down, right back out. Through Letty. Crossed Perez, is trying to get it back. Mopal saw it coming, though, and gets it out of there. Through Letty. Far side, good move there into the box. Too many people, though. Beckett sliding it, getting it loose. Trying to get it loose. I think it's Bruletti he's dealing with. Here's Perez with it now. He sends one across. That's knocked down in front. Bruletti. With one minute to go, they'll pull back and look for another space. A jab at this Monarch defense from another angle. Poking and poking and prodding. Knocked down. Maybe a chance here for Old Dominion on the far side. Beckett in the middle making a good run, but they can't get it to him. Thomas on the far side. Too much to work through for Carr. Mind dear. And then we'll play it back all the way. Christensen. 12 seconds left. Statham. Pushing it way forward. Knocked down, and that will do it for half number one here from Norfolk, Virginia. Goal just in front of the 40 minute mark when we started the half. Picked up tournament. Gamecocks two points behind them, so plenty of room to make up. Plenty of chance to make them up. Looks like Liam Thomas is going to stay on for Old Dominion. Monarchs going downfield early, trying to get something going. Schmolbach could not quite get to it. Here come the Gamecocks. Is Clement. He'll drop it back. St. Juice over it goes to Nilsson. Back to St. Jude. Once again, this is the way the Gamecocks have played this all night. Very patient, very deliberate. The Monarchs have not gotten out of frame yet, gotten out of position or lost their formation quite yet. Except for the one really good point blank shot that went off the post. The head here is Jenkins, and St. Juice took it away from him. One point three three goals a game for South Carolina. They've also given up one point three three a game throughout the season. They do put up a lot of shots, though, which is kind of surprising that they've only been held down to three in the first half. They put up 12 shots a game, which is third in the Sun Belt Conference. Ahead, here's probably a shot here. Nope, flag is up. Never mind. Adam Luckhurst had a good look at it, but too good of a look at it. Flag up. He is offside. Buckhurst has got all the points for South Carolina this season. Three goals, four assists. He's got two game winners. And he's only played seven games, he hasn't, or seven starts in 12 games. Here's Dean has it, and he'll send it across to Reeser. I think the Old Dominion defenders have had more contact with the ball than anybody else. 
Yo, I need my camera. Like, Long ball time. ahead. Is it going to be kept in? It is kept in. Drop back. That shot is blocked. The pass is blocked back towards midfield. Mr. Rioli now in the middle with it. Faith in my head, looking to find Thomas. Good looking run. Not quite enough on it though. Still up in the air, and now St. Juice will come down with it. That one's gonna go off the foot of Perez and out of bounds. So they lost an unusual bad touch for Perez there. Right in the middle of the field. Milson was not able to corral it. It's an opportunity here for Old Dominion. On the throw in. We'll drop it back. Here's Reeser. Miss Rioli. Back here, Statham. They'll play it back out again as usual. Can't even call a token pressure because Luckers goes full speed. Schmalbach had it. Schmalbach gives it back up. Here's Ms. Rioli. Through the middle. And now a real retreat. Press forward. Drop it back to Statham. Searching for a way through. Ms. Rioli, long ball ahead. Jenkins could not corral it. Sixteenth meeting between these two. Again, the Monarchs lead that nine, five, and one. Crane into the middle. Clement gets it across to Perez. Far side, I think that's Frost. Back to Perez. Perez has been busy. And there's a shove in the back. That's just a straight out push right in front of the official. No real way to hide from that one. Mondier with a shove right in the back of Perez and that's gonna give a pretty good look here. Straight away in front of Statham. They take it quickly though. Deckel Dax into the middle. Deckel Dax shoots and a save by Statham. Second clutch shot, point blank range from Deckel Dox tonight. First one caught the post, that one caught Statham. Save number four on the night for Statham. The footwork from Deckel Dax, and he just did get a piece of that. So it'll be a corner. Deckel Dax takes the corner into the box. No problem there. Statham just yanks it straight out of the air. Ooh, contact there on the punt. Statham is down. Looks like he was trying to punt that. And Nilsson was close to him. And he kind of caught Nilsson in the back of the knee. And Statham is slow and getting up. And now Nilsson was limping around. And now Nilsson's going to go check on him. And all is well. Discussion going on here. Christensen's trying to plead his case. I don't think he's past the bar. Statham's getting a couple extra minutes to make sure he's all right. They're official again. JT Alaconis. All right, here's Statham. Oh, 
Taking right back by the Gamecocks. Here's Perez straight through the middle. Perez, nice move there. Perez still has it. Near side. Shot is across. It is still loose, and somehow that did not go in. Gamecocks all over it, and nobody got it in. Parker League had it point-blank range, could not put it home, was a good run. Somehow that ball stayed out. You got to think, Tony Annan cringing right now. This game should be tied, he's thinking. As Jenkins on the far side is outraced by Nilsson, who seems to be all right after taking the punt to the thigh area. There's League again. Trying to get one through. Looking for Luckhurst. Didn't find anybody. Dean for the Monarchs in a battle. He goes down. Luckhurst. I think they are going to get the call on Luckhurst. Let's take a look at that uh, goal that maybe should have been. League right in front going across. And... They just could not finish the connection on the far post. Maybe had a little too much on it. I believe that was Brouletti who was making the run on the far post. He couldn't quite get a toe to him. There is Brouletti with it now. Had it, lost it. Back across, and there's League again. Perez, back to League. Midfield work has been excellent for the Gamecocks all night tonight. That one, not so much. Back the other way for Old Dominion. Small block, had it, lost it, gave it up. Up ahead. We played ca casually there by Ben Alexander. For the fact that there's been a goal scored and the Monarchs actually have four shots, it's been kind of a quiet night for Alexander. The shots have not, I mean, they've been spread out because of this, you know, full-fledged offense. Here's Perez looking to get more offense. Couldn't feed that one through. Reiser took it away. Clement got it back. Goes out of bounds. Right back in to Brouletti. Here's St. Juice way back. Coming across to Crane. Deckle Dax, one on two, decides better of it. Brouletti tried to feed it right back through him. He let it go. Let it go to Luckhurst. Didn't quite get through to him, so here's Lee. Back across. Perez with some space. Perez with a shot. Just wide, had a good look at it. Perez put a good foot to it. Outstretched fingertips past Statham, but wide of the frame. Six shots now for South Carolina on the board. But the only one that matters belongs to Lewis Beckett and the Monarchs. Came at 4.33 in the first half. Substitutions coming in for Old Dominion. Looks like Eberly is back in. Jenkins is out, so forward for forward. Look out. A little, a little iffy uh, for Beckett there on the back pass. Handled, but for a second there, a little, a little touchy. Thomas had that and gave it right back up. Deckel Dex into the middle, trying to go to Luckhurst, and Luckhurst not quite on the same page. He was right there, thought he had a good shot at it. Statham. Statham is going to get it right back, pops it straight up into the air. Knocked down by Beckett. Played back by Beckett. Up ahead, Schmolbach couldn't get to it. Eberly was trying to make a run. Perez, contact there. And uh, 
There's the whistle. There is a whistle. Perez getting some contact that time. Ball's another one. Perez has been very busy tonight. Christensen is going to take this one. Crane will take the free kick just into the Monarch side of the field. He'll take it short, get it right back, come across the league. And then drop it right back to St. Jude. Nilsson, far side. Griffith had it, we'll give it back. We retreat. Alexander resets it as we come up on the 33 minute mark here in the second half. Big game for South Carolina, especially with the uh, tournament looming. They need as many points as they can pick up. Monarchs looking to pick up some more points with the hope of hosting a Sun Belt tournament game. It's going to be a corner. Deckel Dax will take it. It's going to be corner number five coming up for South Carolina. He goes short with it, and instantly it's taken away. And then it was a big collision there as Perez in a collision with Dean. And this one is going to go the way of Dean. See what the issue is with this top five. His leg is falling on my top five. Now. So the short corner didn't really work. He tried to sneak it into Clement, and Clement got to take it away from him pretty quickly. Here's one played ahead. Knocked down over there. St. Juice. Long ball, long run over here. Crane was able to corral it before it got out of bounds. Back to St. Juice as they'll reset. One to nothing, Old Dominion. Looking to hold on here. Busy night for the keeper. Three saves in the first half. He's got at least one here in the second half already. The freshman is up to it, though, as Statham has kept the sheet clean thus far. There's a long pass looking for Thomas. Thomas will corral it down into the corner. Thomas on Crane, and he will bounce it off of Crane and earn a corner. So Monarchs are going to get a corner kick. It's going to be their fourth of the night. Thomas smartly pinned in the corner two on one, just turned and bounced it off the defender. It is going to be Beckett to take this kick. Bodies and white jerseys and black jerseys all in front of Alexander. Here comes the kick. Right footer in swinging. Bounces around a couple of times off of Perez, but cleared out. Misrioli from distance had some heat on it. Alexander saw it all the way and just swatted it down. Now it's going to go long, and the flag is up. It'll belong to Carolina. Or check it, it'll belong to ODU. Mawpaw is over there to take the throw in from, uh, he's creeping up a little bit. I'm going to say just over the midfield mark, but he's a little bit further in than that now. Drew Letty in it. Knocked down Griffith with a sliding tackle. And it worked because they get the ball back. Here's St. Juice. Coming across near side, Crane. Perez now faces a couple of Monarchs. And we'll drop it straight back. St. Juice. Up ahead, crossed into Old Dominion territory. Deckel Dax. Deckel Dax tried to squeeze one through, looking for Perez, I think. Or maybe it was, I think it was Brulette, maybe. Either way, it didn't work. Statham. 
Thomas ahead. Dean plays it, but not away from Perez. Good touch there by for Perez to get it back to St. Jude. Nilsson, here's Perez again. Make sure there's only one 11 out there. He's been all over the place. Little space here. Clement trying to push forward. Miss Rioli drop it back again to the keeper. Pressure coming. A little bit too lax there for Statham. He does get it out of there, but this is going to be conversation. Crane thinks it should be theirs. The official thinks maybe not. Dean is over there. And it is going to be a kick for Carolina. Crane will take it. Will Crane sending a lot of black shirts forward. And of course he will drop it straight back. St. Deuce moving forward. Deco back. Nilsson, and he tries to get ahead, and that one's a little bit too far ahead. Monarchs will take it over and play it right back to the keeper again, Statham. Hey, what? Luckhurst doesn't let anybody relax at all, does Not the head, looking for Thomas. That's going to be taken away, though. Everly came over with a look at it, but couldn't control it. Nilsson. Griffith on the far side. In it back to St. Juice, he'll let it go. Comes across, now he gets it back. 27 minutes, the lone score on the board belongs to Beckett for the Old Dominion Monarchs. The assist from Mondier. That in the first half, early in the first half, the marker came at 4.33. This goes into touch. This is arguing going on over who should have had that. Lee thought it should have been Carolina. Meanwhile, Schmolbach has Thomas on his own on the right side, driving one in, knocked down and smothered by Alexander. Good run there by Thomas. Meanwhile, half the Carolina roster looked like they were still arguing with the official. This one, there's not much argument over. Substitution for Old Dominion as LaMontagne comes back into the game. LaMontagne coming in for Thomas. So Thomas out, LaMontagne in. LaMontagne midfielder, but can get forward as well. That one is knocked out. That's going to be Carolina ball. All right. Knocked out off of Schmolbach. Up ahead. Here's Clement. Clement working on Dean. They'll drop it back. League. Back to Clement. Here's Crane. Move there. The left foot into the middle. Knocked down by Miss Rioli though. Beverly trying to break out. He's been very contained in this thing. Feels like he's a very hyper puppy looking to run and he just can't get out of the cage. Here's Clement. Near side Crane. Left foot looking for the back door. Tackle Dax was there, but it was knocked down. Not cleared yet. Still into the box. Griffith has it and he's going to be forced back out. Tackle Dax now. Two on one. Knocked loose and it'll be Old Dominion. A lot of in tight work here on the perimeters of the penalty box all night long for these Monarch defenders. Been up to the task so far. Schmolbach, get it to Eberly. Eberly dropped it back. Lamontagne got it blocked up. Clemens was there to knock it down. Time dwindling here. 
important points, maybe slipping through the fingers of South Carolina. Although they will continue to press forward. And only being really, aside from the goal and maybe one or two other shots, has not been able to take advantage of everybody being up front. Maybe they will now. Long run. Beckett will drop it off. Good reaction, though, by the defense for Carolina that was able to get back and cut them all off. Fast break was not going to happen. Here's Dean. Ramontane into the middle. He drops it off from Mondeer. Far side, they'll drop it back again. Back to the middle for Mistrioli. Back-to-back -back road games for South Carolina coming into this one. They were at Coastal Carolina. Before coming here, they drew a one-to-one -one tie against the shot to clear. Mr. Ioli fins off tackle Dax, gets rid of it. Up ahead, looking for Dean, who snuck forward. It's still loose. Dean still has a shot at it, and it's bounced right off of him, but controlled. Lamontine into the middle. Here comes a chance. Ball is loose. Ball is still loose, and it's knocked down in front. And somehow Alexander able to recover to make that stop. I think that was St. Juice who made the initial save. Schmalbach was at point blank range and bounced it off of the defender. And it gave enough time for Alexander to get back and swipe it. Second best chance of the night for Old Dominion. Up ahead, meanwhile, here's League on the left side. Back heel, Griffiths looking into the middle. Can't get it. Luckhurst has been on the doorstep all night but has not been able to knock on it. Knocked away. Drew Letty will recover. Far side. That one's harmless into the box. No help there. Although the Old Dominion Monarchs kick it straight back out of bounds and give it away again. So maybe there was some harm there. Substitution coming in, it looks like. Deckel Dax is going out. Damola Salami coming in, and looks like Deckel Dax, I believe, is the man coming to the bench. Well-earned rest. So Salami in. Here's Perez going to work on the right side. Not much happening, though. Cut off well there. Stay them with another goal kick. Seven. Seven shots on the board for Old Dominion. Six on the board for South Carolina, though it doesn't feel that way. It seems like there should be a lot more shots for the Gamecocks. Subs coming in for Old Dominion. It looks like Jenkins has come back in, and Schmalbach, who's been busy, will have a seat. Dean trying to play it ahead. There's Everly looking across. Beckett is knocked down. He is begging for a call, and I don't think he's going to get it. Instead, it's going to go against him, and South Carolina going the other way. Beckett looking to pick up a first penalty shot for Old Dominion. It's not going to happen, though. 20 minutes left in this game. Here's Perez. Clement. Inside league, trying to keep it in, maybe trying to earn a corner. It is going to go. It's going to be a goal kick. Went off of league, who could not quite turn the corner. He tried to make it bounce off of Christensen, but could not. Oh, that one's given away. Brouletti on the run. Brouletti shot, saved by Statham. 
Statham erases his own mistake. He kicked it right to Brouletti, who's dangerous. He's got a couple of goals on the season. This one, point blank range, and he just does get a piece of it. It'll be a corner. Corner number five coming up. Taken by Perez. Right footer, that one is knocked down pretty quickly. Ricocheted back out to midfield. Crane, Crane on the move. Crane gets one, it's deflected off. Deflected off who is the question? I think it's gonna be a goal kick. Nope, gonna be a corner. Deflected off of Old Dominion. So Clement heads to the corner. Perez is over there with him. Looks like it's gonna be Perez. They may go short with it. Perez, looking far side, played well. Griffiths was trying to get it to come down. Brouletti, he'll reset. Nelson, looking for league on the left side. Popped up off the head into the box, and knocked right back out of the box. It'll be a throw in. Clement will take it. I think Clement will take it, we'll see. He does take it. To Perez, chops back and intercepted. Picked off by LaMontagne. LaMontagne trying to get it ahead to Jenkins, but corralled instead by St. Jude's. There's not been a lot of breakouts for this Old Dominion squad. Everybody's packed up tight forward for Carolina, but they get back quickly. That one is gonna be stopped by Statham. Token pressure comes in from Salami. Seventeen minutes and change left in this one. Monarchs with seven points, tied for third in the Sun Belt. Two points in front of Carolina. Gamecock. Looking to get some more. That one's going to be escorted out of bounds by Crane. Well, it's going to come back for the kick for Old Dominion. Christensen plays it back. Pressure put on over there by Salami. So they drop it back again. Statham surrounded Salami. Salami's coming in, and uh, he almost had the pickpocket from behind. There's Mondeer now with it. Up ahead, it's loose but controlled. Back in ahead. Far side looking for Dean, who's snuck forward a little bit, but that one's too far ahead. It'll be a throw in for South Carolina. League will toss it in and get it right back. Drops back again to Crane. Looking for some space surrounded by Old Dominion, though. Does get it ahead. Here's Lee. Playing it back, looking for help. He finds it in Brouletti. Brouletti gets it ahead. Space for Clements. Far side, Perez. That trying to speed a little touch pass through. It was cut off, though. Mondier would not let that one go through. Marpaw in a battle over on the far side. She loses as it goes out of bounds. Back to Nelson. Here's St. Jude's again, now on the near side. Coming across, Crane. Moves it ahead into Old Dominion territory. League, dropping it off, a couple of touches for Luckhurst, and Luckhurst will fire from distance. Pretty good location on that, just not a lot of pace, and 
Another save on the board for Statham. Shot number eight on the night. Luckhurst just kind of looks impatient. Ten points on the season, but has been corralled tonight. Here's Beckett, and he'll lay it across. Montier, able to corral it back to Marpaw. Marpaw plays it ahead. That's going to go out of bounds, and it will belong. Let's see, where's the flag? It looks like it's going to be South Carolina. Nope, it's going to be an Old Dominion ball. ODU throw it. Marpaw coming way deep before he throws that one back in and instantly it's almost given away again. Contain it a little bit. Here's Mound here. Up ahead. Into the box. Looking for help. Looking for Jenkins. Jenkins has got it. Jenkins has still got it. And that one's blocked away. Not done yet. Mondier got one block. Outside now is Beckett. Beckett may have gotten injured. There's two players that may have gotten injured. Beckett is grabbing the back of his leg. Meanwhile, the ball's gone the other direction. Here's Perez, far side, looking for some help. Trying to get it to Griffiths, and that got away from him. Looked like a collision there between Nelson and Beckett, and Beckett is down, stretching out now. Substitution is coming in for Carolina. As Myring comes back in. Myring is back into the game for Luckhurst, who is coming out. Meanwhile, looks like Beckett is still down on the ground. His trainers are coming over there now to check on him. 12.50 to go in the game. We have the stoppage. <laughs> Substitution coming in. Looks like they're going to have to take Beckett out. So coming in is going to be Ferguson, Trevor Ferguson, the midfielder, five foot, ten inch sophomore, out of Virginia Beach, so local product for the Monarchs. Looked like it was the collision between Beckett, and I think it was William Nelson. Nelson came out of that. He went down, but got back up pretty quickly. Beckett came up holding the back of his leg, like maybe he strained something. He was trying to stretch it out. But they are gonna come and get him. So Ferguson comes in. This does. Beckett is slowly making his way back across towards the Old Dominion bench. Yes, go to the trainers and sportsmanship there from Crane. So when we get back to going here, it'll be a throw in. Nilsson will take the throw in for Carolina. Pretty, uh, a couple of good strides past midfield. Temperature into the upper 40s now in the second half here in Norfolk, Virginia, in the Old Dominion Soccer Complex. Glad you could join us here wherever you're checking out the stream on ESPN Plus. This is Sun Belt Soccer. Andy Michaud here with you along with all of our uh, ESPN Plus crew staff bringing the sights and sounds of this one. Monarchs with a one to nothing lead. Taken by the guy who just left with the injury, Lewis Beckett. That was at the 433 mark a long time ago. We've seen a lot of chances, some shots, some gambles, and some close misses, but nothing has hit the back of the net since. A couple of good saves by Statham. A couple of good saves by Alexander in the battle of the freshman goalkeepers. 12 minutes left now. 
train. Dumps it off. Perez has it. Perez will drop it back to St. Jude. Crane looking for some help. Into the middle it goes, and it's kicked right back out for League. League not able to control it. I think it's knocked out. He's going to stay with Carolina. Nope, it'll be a throw to Old Dominion. Dean will take it. Long throw in for Dean. Trying to get it to Everly. Jenkins, the two speedsters for Old Dominion. Controlled nicely there by Crane. Underrated move by Crane there because Jenkins has been looking to run and he had Everly with him if he wasn't able to get control of it. So don't forget that one. First touches for Ferguson since he came in for Beckett. This will be a kick for Old Dominion. LaMontagne sets it up, but he's not going to take it. Looks like it's going to be Miss Rioli who's going to take it. See if they can get anybody forward. Beverly and Jenkins forward. Covered pretty well, so they go backwards. Statham now. He will go for Aerial battle there is going to go to Carolina. Nilsson maintained possession there for the Gamecocks, and there they come again. League. Perez on the far side. Nice touch to control it. Griffiths on the far, knocked away. He drops it right back again. And again, these defensemen and these midfielders for the Gamecocks have kept things under control. Here is Clement inside, and the flag is up. Perez tried to sneak through, but got caught off sides. Monarchs take it quickly. Up ahead they come. Old Dominion looking for some space, trying to crack through. Good defense, but it's good defense that's being played at about 60 yards away from their own keeper. Probably where they would like it. Crosser here looking for League, headed down and out. Well, down, but not out. Dean couldn't quite clear it. Rouletti, he will reset. Here's Perez again. Is that Griffith? Brouletti for the far side. There's Griffith over there, but he can't handle it. A little bit too high of a hop, so it'll be an Old Dominion throw in as looks like Thomas is coming back in for the runner. Thomas in. And Jenkins will come out. So forward for forward there. With a little under eight and a half to go. Monarchs trying to hold on to the one nothing lead. Ball handling in the phone booth over there. Finally kicked free, but way too far ahead for any Old Dominion player to do anything with it. St. Juice will retrieve and knock it back to Alexander. Old Dominion, 5-4-2 and two on the season. After a, well, not a good start. Dropped a couple of games they would love to have back now. They've played much better lately. But the record, 5-4-2, and 2-1-1 two, two, one and one in the conference, though. Carolina, Gamecocks have five wins of their own, 5-4-3. and three. The problem for them is they have not come in conference, 1-1-2, one, one and two, which gets them only five points in the Sun Belt. Here's Clement. Fewer and fewer games remaining before the tournament. Long run into the middle of the field for Griffiths, and then he lost it. Perez is there to pick it up, though. And a switch. Nilsson goes ahead. Only two defenders back now. 
long look in for League, and it makes contact. League was able to get it down, but nobody home in front. Substitutions coming in now for South Carolina. Brian Banahan will come into the game. Banahan in. And a free kick for Old Dominion. Banahan in, I believe it was St. Jude's who came out. St. Jude's who came out for him. Banahan is a forward, so Tony Annan trying to get some more guys forward, trying to level this score up with six minutes left. He goes to the extra forward. Knocked around. Well, there's St. Jude's, so everything I just said, never mind. It is another forward that comes in, though. That is true. Banahan is, in fact, another forward. St. Juice moves it ahead into Old Dominion territory. Stopped off for Crane. Looking ahead. Pass was behind the intended target, Clement. Roulette will let it go. Perez, far side. Trying to feed one through. There is Branahan. Into the middle of the box. Turning kick. Not able to connect. That was Myring who was trying to do the acrobatic rifle shot in front. And did not get it. Here's Crane as the Gamecocks press forward into the box. Chance taken out of the air. Statham again is there. And Statham is getting up slowly now. Some contact. Statham is up. He seems to be all right. The clock winds down under five minutes. Statham puts it ahead to apparently no one. Well, no one in a white shirt anyway. It's taken away, and up comes Nilsson with it. Nilsson to Perez. Perez. Clement. Much like the first half, lot of possession time for the Gamecocks. Extra chances now that they didn't have in the first half, but still nothing on the scoreboard. Clement drops it back. Brouletti. Looking for help, and he's going to find League on the near wing. League one-on-one -on -one with Thomas. Good move by League. League into the middle. Looking for help. Punched out by Statham. But not free. Salami had it and lost it. But it'll still be South Carolina ball. Salami, he will drop it off into the box. Here is Perez off the side of the net. It's going to be, well, no, it got deflected on the way in, I think, and it's going to be a corner. Yeah, corner will be awarded to South Carolina on shot number nine, corner number six. Perez plays it in. Tipped in the air, knocked out, and Miss Rioli will clear it. Not cleared completely, though. Here is Salami. Into the box, Salami with a crosser. Went through about four people, nobody home. Here's a shot. Brouletti just missed again. Second close call for Brouletti. Statham did not get a piece of that one. I think that's just a straight goal kick as Brouletti missed the frame. Substitutions coming in. Schmalbach coming back in. And it is small bike coming in for La Montaigne. Off the goal kick from the miss from Brouletti. 
Up it goes from Statham. And a whistle and a push is going to be a kick for Hill Dominion. And it looks like there's a cramp, too. 2.42 left. Is that Dean? That is Dean, who is down and stretching out a cramp. Seems to be all right. Time winding down here. Under three minutes to go. Misrioli will play it back. A lot of pressure put on. It's a hard run coming in. Far side, here is Myring. Myring into the box. That one is cleared away, but he's going to get a corner out of it. Looking for Banahan. Perez with the corner. Corner number seven up in the air. High kick. Looking for some help is knocked down. In the air, still not clear. Now it's cleared. Long run, but good job. Good job by Bruletti. Able to contain that. Contact there as Crane gets hit. He gets the throw in, though. Back to Bruletti. Under two minutes to go. Small Paul. Up in the air, loses that aerial battle with my ring, and my ring will throw it back in. Clement into the box, tapped out front, still not clear. Knocked loose, deflected out. League is going to get it back again, and that one air mailed everything. As we get to one minute remaining in this game. One minute, one minute remaining. Statham now trying to just hold on. They'll eat some clock. Now, the clock is stopped. And now, Statham puts it back into play. Popped up in the air, far side. Schmalbach, this is gonna shield off. Milson gets away from him and out into touch. Will be played quickly. Yeah, different ball, so we're gonna switch balls, okay. Quick throw in there, 20 seconds left. Final rush for, North, or for South Carolina. Gamecocks, here is Salami, could not catch up to that one. It'll be a goal kick with 10 seconds left. That will just about wrap it up. All kinds of pressure, but the freshman goalkeeper, Michael Statham, was able to answer it. Old Dominion is going to hold on to a 1-0 victory at home. They will take it. One goal is all it took. Early goal, 433, the goal from Lewis Beckett, the assist from... Karen Mondier, Mondier has given the Monarchs the win. Their record will now improve to 